What's up guys, this is Rasim from RossmarTech.com and this is part two of our water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 cluster supercomputer video series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying every minute of it. Now if you guys haven't heard about this series, I'm taking my Raspberry Pi 3 cluster, I'm water-cooling it and I'm making it wall art. So I'm really excited. Now, it's gonna be probably a 10, 10 part series. This is just part two. It might be more, it might be less. And it's gonna be vlog style like this, where I use my iPhone and, for, and record in 4K. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a mock-up of how this whole thing is gonna look. I'm still waiting on some fittings and some tubing. Most of this stuff is coming tomorrow. The fittings and, and tubing are coming tomorrow. And some of the other stuff are coming the day after. Now, I, I changed out a few of the things. Now, the first thing I changed is the res pump combo. The original one I went with was too small. I wanted something a lot more beefcake, a lot bigger. And I went with a thermal take. It's pretty much 10 inches high and four inches wide. So it's a pretty big res pump combo and I'm really happy. Hopefully you guys are, will like it and I'll leave a link to that product in the description. So the original one that I went with, again, it's too small. I will use it in another project where I'll probably use it to water cool a Raspberry Pi 4 or something. So it's in that closet right there. Now, the second thing that I changed out is my acrylic sheets. I, I brought a 24 by 18 acrylic sheet. It was pretty thin and I wanted something a lot thicker. So I, so I, I custom ordered, had, had they were custom cut by the way, and all the pieces that I need were custom cut. So I don't have to do any cutting. All I have to do is glue them together. And it was like $100, so it wasn't cheap. But I, I ordered a, another set of acrylic sheets, this time thicker. A quarter inch thick and they're really thick and strong so I don't have to worry about it flexing or any of that stuff the original sheets that I have here that we'll show you in a second they were pretty good but they were they did have a lot of flex so I'm I'm happy with the new ones and the new ones are coming I think the day after tomorrow and everything else is coming tomorrow the new res pump combo is coming tomorrow and my fittings and everything else is coming tomorrow as well so I'm happy about that so the project can get started now I'm gonna show you guys a mock-up of how it will look or it's not written in stone i might change a few things around but this is pretty much how it's gonna look so i'm gonna turn this around right here this is my original acrylic sheet this is the right dimension this is this is the 18 by 24 but it's too thin and it has a lot of flex and i really don't want that so the new one it, it's expensive but you know i'm happy no flex it's a, it's a sturdy piece of plastic now right here this is the UV lights that I will put, and I think I'll leave them here because the res pump combo is gonna go here. It's a pretty big res pump combo, so it's gonna take up most of the space right over there. And I chose a UV uh, liquid here. This is uh, Primo Chills uh, PC-based uh, UV red liquid, and this is the coolant that's gonna go in the build. And uh, the, way, the way that that coolant works is, I mean, it cools, everything down but it also reacts to ultraviolet light or black lights and it'll look amazing so these are the black lights here or uv lights whatever you want to call them and once i turn them on and the liquid is in that radi i'm sorry reservoir it's gonna look amazing so res is gonna go here and right here this is probably where the raspberry pi is gonna go i'm gonna leave it like this i'm gonna do four first and I'm gonna leave room for uh, upgrading. So I, I will be able to put another four down here. And I think another four down here to make it a total of like 12 or more later on. But I'm just testing it out with four first. Later down the road, if I wanna do like an update or upgrade video or I add more, I can I can do so without, without a problem. And I'll probably have like drilled ri rivets for these. So, so I can easily take these pies off if I want to. Now, what else is going to go here is a switch. It might not be this switch. I have to play around with it. I have to test out other options and see what other products are out there. But th there will be a switch, if not this one, over here. The switch will connect all these Raspberry Pis to the cluster. And I will put a port down here because it's, it's not going to only, I'm sorry, it's not going to only be this sheet here. I ordered other sheets, so that I'm going to glue sheets coming up like this. So it's going to be more like a, a square. And I'm gonna have ports here, so I'll be able to custom make ports for like the power for for this here. It's gonna look cool. So right over here, the, the power supply, I think it's gonna go down here somewhere, hopefully, maybe here or over here. I don't know yet, but it's gonna go somewhere down there. And I'm gonna custom make a port for this here. So everything's gonna be 
pretty pretty uh, custom and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a lot of mods so this is the radiator not radiator a lot of you guys give me crap for calling it a radiator it's a radiator so here is the um, 120 millimeter fan for this ra ra radiator <laughs> I'm just getting radiator now um, I might change out this fan I, I might go with a uh, UV uh, red fan just because I want it to react to the UV lights here so it, so it looks cool so maybe I'll keep it maybe not but this is the radiator here this is what's going to cool all all the Raspberry Pis there will be tubing and all that stuff I don't have the tubing and the and the wrist pump combo right now but well when I do uh, you'll have tubing everywhere and this is what cools everything so this is a 120 millimeter one this is from EK and this is the cool stream and you can see it right here it's the cool stream SE and I could have gone with something a little bit bigger but that's a bit overkill <laughs> 120 millimeter of radiator is fine so this is the fan that's going to go on top of there so that's pretty much it for the mock-up it might be different it might look exactly like this who knows but i i, I can't 100 percent tell until i start like actually screwing them in there and seeing what can fit and what can't fit so once i do get all the pieces in then i'll really 100 percent decide how this whole thing is going to look all right guys so this is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part three of this video series. In part three, I plan on uh, finishing the acrylic casing. Again, it's gonna be like more like a rectangle square that's gonna go on this wall here. It's gonna be wall art. Remember, it's gonna encase the entire project. So once I finish that, I'll probably start putting all the pieces together. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm a sim from RossMertech.com and thank you for watching.